Hey folks, this is Shock, and as you know on YouTube, you can do like how-to videos, and there's a large demand for videos how to ride a motorcycle. So I'm going to do a like beginner's video, and then we're going to merge into like um, advanced, and then we're going to merge into expert, where we go on the freeway. If you don't want to go on the freeway, unless you kind of have some experience. So first we'll start off with the beginner's portion of the video and then we'll move to advanced and then we'll move otherwise known as intermediate and then we'll move to uh, expert. Now our motorcycle of choice today is the Suzuki Katana 600. And the Suzuki Katana 600 is a very heavy bike so you're going to like it on the freeways. And uh, let's go through some, some of the uh, features of the bike. This is the front brake. This is the rear brake. Your heel goes here. Your toe pushes down there. You apply pressure and um, you could brake. This is how you check the oil here. When the bike's standing level, you look and the, the oil should be between these two lines. There's an F and an L there for a full and low. Now, uh, let's mosey on over to the other side. Traditionally on most uh, motorcycles I've ridden, the left side has to do with shifting. This is the clutch. So you know on a car how you put your foot in on the left clutch pedal and then you shift with your right hand? Here, pretend this is where your left foot goes. You're, you would put your left foot in on the car and uh, put the clutch in. Here you pull the clutch in with your left hand and you're going to shift here with your left foot. Your foot, imagine this is my foot. Uh, rest here and then when you want to shift down you pull the clutch lever in here you pull that clutch lever in and you hold the clutch lever in while you shift up and down just imagine a ladder first is here second third fourth fifth sixth and uh, usually most bikes first and second are like that and right in between first and second is neutral so if you slightly kick up from first you'll go into neutral Okay, so you got the idea. Uh, we're going to get on. I have the, um, as you're going to see in a moment, I have the mirrored visor on because it's very sunny out today. And um, uh, let me show you the visor to fight the blazing sun. Which is up there to our right. All right, so we're going to start it. And uh, again, traditionally on most bikes, and by the way, you notice the kickstand's down. I'm going to bring that up for an important reason. Most bikes, you'll have the starter, and uh, you'll have to hold the clutch lever in to start it as a safety. So here we go. I'm going to pull the clutch lever in, and there's start button right here. Now, as I start going, this mist that's on the visor will disappear, so don't worry about that. Now. We have brights here. We have flash to pass. You pull this trigger and your brights go on and off like that. Uh, so we have brights here. Here's our turn signal. You'll be able to see that later. Um, kill switch here. In case I need to immediately kill all power to the bike, emergency or something. Uh, it starts accelerating. The cable breaks. Something happened. <laughs> um, Hazard lights has its own little hazard lights, and as you know, there's the starter we talked to you about. Now, um, let's lean over here, and then what happens is you're riding the motorcycle. If you start getting where you, the motorcycle starts chucking down, like you're going to run out of fuel, like you're you forgot to gas up, or you're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, this lever turns around, and you there's an arrow pointing down here to on right now, but you would turn it here to reserve. And then you have a little bit of gas that will help you to get to a gas station. Now, this kickstand, very important you put it up. People forget to put their kickstands up. And some of the manufacturers of the motorcycles, and let's put it up right now, by the way, before I forget it. <laughs> All right, it's so up. Some of the manufacturers of the motorcycles have put like a kill switch where you um, can't really go put it in gear with the kickstand down. So we're still in the beginner phases, right, of riding. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the clutch lever in 
and then slowly let it out while you're giving throttle and pick a parking lot bigger than this okay pick like a huge parking lot with no cars uh, us college or school or fairgrounds something like that something like a huge parking lot and kind of drive around and practice like watch how I pull the clutch lever in and then I stop the stopping is the key thing you're going to practice because uh, most motorcycle riders when they're new uh, if they don't know how to stop they'll pull over and they'll fall now the clutch lever is still in I took my hand off the brake I'm kind of walking it now we're gonna release the clutch lever very slowly when you're going downhill you know you don't have to really give it throttle just release the clutch lever slowly if you want now watch we're in first so um, what we're gonna do I'll just show you how I go into neutral what I'll do is I'll put remember I'm in first I'll pull the clutch lever in I slightly kick up and remember I told you uh, how if you slightly kick up between first and second there's the neutral light see it tells you you're in neutral and hold on my eye itches most motorcycles have a neutral light like that where something will light up showing you you're in neutral so just remember that ladder I told you about first is down here neutral is a slight kick up but if you just kick up like you feel metal like you'll feel your foot hit metal and stop so it's first second third fourth fifth sixth then you put your foot on top of the clutch lever instead of underneath it you're, you're moving your my cell phone's going off I could hear it but you're moving your foot up and down the clutch lever all right here we go so now I just went up to second clutch lever in kick up I just kicked up down here and then I let go of the clutch I'm in third right let's go up to fourth I'm gonna pull the clutch lever in I just kicked up then I slowly release smoothly release the clutch lever and I'm in fourth made it through the yellow light now we're going to be getting on the freeway here and it's the day after Thanksgiving look at uh, Costco there Black Friday sales are on it's crazy out today shifting downward clutch lever in kick down clutch lever in then I kick down so to shift downward you pull the clutch in oh wait clutch lever in kick down I'm in first slowly let the throttle out smoothly while you're slowly give it throttle while you're slowly letting the clutch out clutch lever in kick up to second see how I did that so we're in second I just heard my voicemail go off so whoever called just left a voicemail <laughs> okay so we get in front of these people real quick for the light changes and no we're not going to be able to hold on so now let's take you on the freeway we're moving from intermediate to advanced this is where you can get killed very easily so I always make sure I ride with the full armor if you know what I mean clutch lever in kick down I'm in first no one's behind me so I could kind of show this to you here we're in first going slow right and we're gonna pick up speed clutch lever in kick up to second now let's say you want to start getting on it you have to go fast everything just accelerated more clutch lever in kick up third motorcycle rider right there clutch lever in kick up fourth and see how he did that clutch lever in kick up fifth we have six gears by the way as you can tell a bit more dangerous clutch lever in kick up six so look at that motorcycle guys way up there man he put the hammer down so now we're in sixth gear and um, let me itch my nose here. now see this guy with the truck he's got stuff on the truck I have a friend of mine who's a Harley rider and he and his friend were out riding this guy had a ladder in the back of the truck and it fell out and killed his friend 
I'm like, how could you get killed by a ladder, you know? And well, what happens? Is, oh, there's the motorcycle rider right there. Let's see if I can get there. What happens is when you're riding at these speeds and that thing is flipping up in the air, it picks up momentum and it's like someone's hitting you with a hammer in the head. And the Harley riders, you know how a lot of them, like this guy up here, watch, I bet you he doesn't have a full face helmet on. They like to wear those little beanie top helmets, you know, that just cover the top of your head, doesn't cover your jaw or anything like that. tell you how to get your motorcycle license also the first thing you want to do and you can do that right now a lot of people make a bigger deal of it than it really is it's actually very easy to do you go to your department of motor vehicles first DMV and um, what you do is you want to take the, the exam just the written test with a pencil when this opens up I'll see if I can go uh, while well, everyone's stopping him Let's go see if I can see what motorcycle that guy's on. Once you take the written one with a pencil, he's right there, so close, but so far. He's he's right in front of these two SUV or the SUV here and then the truck here. So what you can do is um, let me go down here. See, they give us motorcycle riders this little lane here in California. Once you take the written test. Wait a minute, look, he does have full face helmets. See, smart guy. Harley. Peace, brother. Um, once you take the written test, W-R-I-T-T-E in you with the pencil, then you could actually ride. They'll let you ride uh, with, I uh, like, I believe three restrictions on your license. You can't ride on the freeway like I'm doing. We're in expert mode now, so you're not allowed to do that. Um, and they'll let you ride, they won't let you ride, I should say, I mean, they will let you ride in the day, but you can't ride with the passenger. That's restriction number two. And the third restriction is not at nighttime. You cannot ride at nighttime. So uh, I'm surprised how packed the freeways are here. Now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be switching freeways and I'm going to be showing you counter steering in the meantime. Counter steering is um, the best way to explain it, it's kind of funny, is you move the handlebars in the opposite way you want to go. So if I want to go left over here, I'm going to move this handlebar forward left and move this one back towards me. And what that does, watch what it does, it leans it to the left like that, you know, and um, that motorcycle guy is coming up over here too, so I don't want him to think I'm going into his lane. Actually, he doesn't really have an official full face helmet. He's got one where just the screen goes down, but all his jaw is exposed. So if he crashes, um, oh man, I've seen some brutal pictures where these guys crash and um, their jaw gets messed up. You lose your teeth, you gotta wire your jaw shut. But let's see if I can show you his helmet. So I'm gonna be switching freeways. Give him some room out of respect here. See, look, see how his jaw is showing? I mean, if he's going to wear, I'm going to get over here because i got to switch freeways. If he's going to wear a helmet, why not just, I mean, if you're going to wear a helmet where it's almost like a full face, just go for broke and get the whole full face. Because they're the same cost. Look at those little toys and little cars and motorcycles. They're kind of cute. Not this guy. This guy's out of cool. I'm talking about the ones on the back of that truck back there. Look, he's got those double pipes. But see his... Man, he's really like blowing around a lot, huh? But see
see his helmet, how his chin is exposed? And then I'll show you mine in the mirror. See that? <laughs> He's probably like, why is this guy bothering me? I gotta switch over here. Uh, now look at mine. See how my, this is all like black plastic right here. It's all protected. This is where we're going. Okay, counter steering. You ready, class? What am I gonna do? Because we're moving to the right. Well, dang it. Look at this piece of rubber flying up. See what I mean? Like with steel in the tire. We're gonna pull back towards me and push forward this way. Actually, we're gonna push, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, I was right the first time. So I'm pushing forward this way and I'm pulling back towards me. That piece of flying rubber and steel threw me off. So I'm pulling back towards me with this left hand towards this way when I was going around the corner too. Uh, you just kind of hold it there pressure-wise. All right, let's get on it. Well, I was going to, and he moved out of my way. Another thing I would strongly suggest doing, um, what I'm about to tell you, the motorcycle riders are gonna be all offended saying well I've never been so offended in my life but when I first started riding I hated it and the reason why I hated it is the noise that you get out here on the mean unforgiving evil freeways of California where you're going you know 65 and some of these freeways these dudes if you're going 65 they're passing you going 85 90 like on these big long deserted stretches well the, the, the sound, the audio of it, <laughs> is so loud that um, you feel like you get the splitting headache, you know. So I got, you go to Walmart or you go to like the hardware store and they have these little sponge earplugs that are real soft and comfortable and they're real cheap too. You get like a big bucket of them for like seven bucks, flash about a month and you squeeze these little sponge earplugs together with your fingers and you make them real long and skinny like like if you're rolling dough like for a pizza you know how you kind of roll the dough on the counter you do that with the earplugs real small and then you hurry and you put them in your ear because they start to expand they're the little sponge type thing but when they expand instead of like all this noise you hear you just hear it's like a lot it's like a lot more quiet and you could hear yourself think you actually enjoy the ride um, now they, you can get helmets that are really really good at blocking out noise um, I have a scorpion helmet on right now let's get on the oh we're gonna show you a counter string by the way pulling back towards me here with the right one and I'm pushing forward this way look at my finger applying pressure that way. That leans the motorcycle, see? Pick up more speed, just tuck down. A little bit. You'd be surprised when you tuck down how it gives you a little bit more speed without giving it throttle on these windy days. Uh, another thing I would uh, tell you is on uh, some hazards, try your hardest not to follow real close to vehicles. I know you can't do that all the time, but because it gets all traffic, full of traffic. But you see, I can do it now because um, I'm going to have that carpool lane open. In California, they let you drive in this lane, this HOV lane. And I'm going to tell you why. Check out my gloves, um, and I'm going to tell you what happens if you fall too close. <coughs> Let me show you my gloves in a moment. All right, you see these rubber things? These are brand new gloves, but you see the knuckle protectors, and you see uh, my uh, fingers, the plastic things with like steel there, and you, and you see that there, there's some little rubber protectors here too, right? You'd be surprised how that could save your finger and save mine. 
right here on my pinky. Notice my pinky is still intact and still movable. <laughs> I'm riding on the uh, freeway, right? And all of a sudden, I don't know what it was that happened so fast, a piece of metal or something flew up and it hit, not on this motorcycle, I had another motorcycle that I was riding, and it hit this clutch lever right here. When it hit the clutch lever, it hit with such tremendous force that it broke the clutch lever. And by the way, wow, look at this old Corvette. This is so epic. It broke the clutch lever right off and it smashed, whatever it was, smashed into my pinky. And I kid you not, my pinky was so swollen from the blow, I could just smash into it, that my glove on my pinky finger started ripping open like the Incredible Hulk. Isn't that cool? And, um, but it saved my finger. So you want to get really good gloves. Don't just get like cloth gloves or like rubber gloves with no protection. I went to an MSF course and I forgot to tell you that after you take your written test to pass the motorcycle test, what you do is sign up for MSF. I don't get anything for telling you about this. It's just I'm a student of MSF. And they teach you real good. MSF, the, the initials are Mary Sam Frank. MSF, like Motorcycle Safety Foundation. Do a search on the internet. Whoa, lots of wind, lots of wind here. Do a search on the internet for msf.org. And you'll see it. And basically, it's so cool. You go there, and um, they have all these little motorcycles with very little power. And you get to, I'm going to move forward here. And you get to ride them around in the parking lot, in the parking lot, and they teach you how, how to shift, how to balance, all the stuff I was kind of teaching you. And, um, And then what happens is uh, you can skip your DMV test if you do that one, the one in the Department of Motor Vehicles, you can skip it because they'll let you take the, I'm going to call it driving test so you don't misunderstand it with riding, like you're riding on a pin. They'll let you take the driving test and wow, there's a really cool motorcycle right here. I know I'm getting sidetracked, but a really cool motorcycle right here that we're catching up to. So you take the driving, you know, the riding test. And um, then you they give you a certificate, and I'm catching up with this guy right here. I don't want to pass this car in front of me because then I'll have to go real slow to film uh, this. Looks like more like a Harley Davidson that this guy's riding, and then it's kind of rude to the guy in front of me that, that he's got to wait. Now we're getting a lot of winds, as you can see. Now let's see if this guy and his passenger, two people here, let's see if he has full face helmet. It doesn't look like they do. But check it out, he's got like those bags on the back to carry luggage. And you can hear it too. Listen, let me get close. wave his handlebars are real high you know um see how his handlebars are really high i got a video um if you go to if you type in on youtube handlebars mystery solved handlebar mystery solved something like that there's a video on youtube where i'm riding and i um I get up next to this guy at a light, and he's got those real, he's got higher handlebars than that. I mean, really high handlebars where the guy's arms are like ape hangers. They're just straight up. 
And I asked the dude, I go, hey, why are your handlebars so high? <laughs> and he was a Hells Angel, so he got out and shot me in the face. And that's why you never want to... No, I'm just kidding. So, um, no, he was a cool dude. He goes, I like him this way. And I, and he was, he, uh, I, I'm like, yes, sir. I'm sorry for asking. Yes, sir, may I have another... No, he was actually really cool. I'm like, hey, you know, you might be asking, why are your handlebars so high? He says, it's comfortable. I like it this way. All right. I don't know why that would be comfortable. Is it? Do any of you guys have any of you? I've never ridden a motorcycle with handlebars like that. All right, let's pick up throttle here because there's a vehicle in front of us I want to get in front of a bunch of hay on it. I can smell the hay from back there. I'd love to smell of hay. It's got that pure country soul smell to it. Um, you know what? Can I, do you guys mind if I share some other stories with you what happened? Um, about, uh, five miles up the road here, I was on the freeway and I was just getting off over here and all of a sudden, like a bat out of hell, this white pickup truck, I believe it was white pickup truck, don't hold me to it, but I remember pickup truck, goes right by me and almost took my mirror off and almost crashed into me. And then I, I had to go to the traffic light, and the guy's right there, right? So I guess he thought I was going to be all ticked off and stuff, but I, I was very nice at the time. And so when we get up to the light, he's like, hey, sorry, man. He goes, what happened? He was in the lane on the left of me and the guy in front of him just like put the brakes on real slow right that's what he was saying and then he had to swerve not to smash the back of him so he just squeezed between me and the other guy now i have to confess at first i thought the dude was just lying to me but i was filming it all on my uh camera and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an annotation here. You can click it and it'll show, it's probably already there. It'll show all my motorcycle videos. Or actually, better yet, look in the video description and I'll put some there. That, yeah, that's all I'll do. I'll put some of the bizarre things I've caught on video with my helmet cam. Oh, one of the things that I did um, is I was at a light and there was a police officer on a BMW motorcycle. Motorcycle cop. He was a really cool guy. So I was, I just was joking around. I was joking, but you don't joke with the police like this. And I joked around and I said, hey, uh, officer, are we going to race when the light turns green? We're gonna race, right? And he looked at me, and I, and then I could see that that was not a, you don't joke around like that. And he said, yes, and then I can give you a ticket afterwards. And I was like, no, sir, I don't want a ticket. And uh, we did not race. But you'll hear him on the video, he's like, yeah, and I'll give you a ticket afterwards. Yeah, a ticket for winning the race. That's what I was going to say, but I, I really didn't think I should mess with authority. But he was cool to joke around about it. Um, other things I've had, and you have this a lot, is I'm riding in this, like, it, usually it's this lane here and cars just like go out in front of you like they don't even look at they can't see you or something I don't know what it is and you always have to have your head on a pivot so when they start going in front of you you like weave into the other lane one of the cool things about motorcycles you see how I can kind of cut down the middle there so if something ever happens there's like an accident everyone's smashing into each other you can kind of weave away through all the rubble 
All right, um, about to end the video, we're picking up speed. I wanted to show you some more counter steering, but everyone's going so slow because uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I had a great Thanksgiving. It was great. We had pumpkin pie, steak with ginger sauce. You know what ginger sauce is? Like you, uh, you ever go to Benihana restaurant? Um, what else do we have to eat? We had homemade whipped cream on the pumpkin pie. Um, healthy vegetables. We had that. Healthy rice. But um, it just seems like this freeway is really slow. Well, you know what? I bet it opens up in a moment and we'll get on it. But yeah, guys, you really should get your uh, motorcycle license. I think everyone should have one. What's interesting about it is, see, I don't have a radio or an MP3 player in my ears or anything. And it's good, I think it's good and healthy to get out on the open road, if you want to call this one open. <laughs> it's all congested. Just you and the machine. And be able to think. It's good to actually think without any interruptions. There we go. Up when a car goes out in front of you and tries to kill you, then you get a little bit interrupted. Now, I ride with the full armor, I suggest you do too, and I'm not just talking about motorcycle gear, but I do have the gloves. Check out the uh, oh, darn it, I have my LA Dodgers jacket over my uh, motorcycle jacket. I can't show you that, but check out my pants. I'm gonna put my foot here on the peg. See, the, this right here has got like CE armor in it. You got like CE armor in the hips, the uh, knees. It's a very strong plastic. So when I'm going, by the way, there's my full face helmet. When I'm riding and a piece of nail hits me, it doesn't penetrate the plastic. It's very, very strong. Uh, the, the pants that I suggest you get, the ones I'm wearing, get them like a half a size or one size bigger than your than the pants you wear, right? Then you just slip them over. Your regular pants. So if you're going to work, you can just um, unzip them. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this motorcycle video. Don't forget to click below the video in the description to see some amazing, shocking, remarkable close calls that I've had on video. And remember, this guy, the Jaguar, for example, he, oh, he's not, yeah, he isn't a Jag. Four wheels like the Jaguar and the BMW in front of us. Is that a BMW, I think? Yeah. Four wheels, uh, they got four wheels, I have two. Four wheels may move the body, but Two wheels moves the soul. And I don't think this is a BMW, by the way, in front of me. I think it's a... I can't see the emblem, Volkswagen. Have a great week, guys. Bye for now. Downshifting, see? And then we did it. We're in neutral. <laughs>